Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today's topic in prosthodontics is theories of impression making. So what are the common theories uh, behind the impression making concept? The first one is mucocompressive or definitive pressure technique. Definite pressure technique and the second one is mucostatic or minimal pressure okay this is applying minimal pressure and the last one we have is selective pressure technique so let's learn one by one the theories of impression making So we'll start with the mucocompressive or definite pressure technique. So it was introduced by Green Brothers and the tissue recorded at functional pressure, which they claim to have a better support and retention for the denture. And it is commonly used in closed mouth technique. So we have open mouth and closed mouth technique. So this mucocompressive or definite pressure technique used in closed mouth and it was believed that the occlusal loading during impression making is comparable to the occlusal loading during the function that is how they justify this technique so the first thing we take primary impression with the impression compound then the special tray making using the shellac base plate and its periphery are 18 inch shorter than the danger outline then the second impression is made with special tray using compound then by trims with uniform occlusal surfaces then areas to be relieved are softened then the impression inserted in mouth and held under biting pressure for one to two minutes then borders are molded by asking the patient to perform functional movements. Then the posterior palatal seal was obtained by making the patient swallow under biting pressure. So the advantages of mucocompressive techniques are better retention, better support, especially during the functional movements and it provides more tissue coverage. Okay. So retention, better support and more tissue coverage. But the disadvantages are the pressure applied can overstress the tissue. So overstressing because it is applying at a definitive pressure combo, uh, technique not the minimal pressure and this often result in good initial retention but what happens is eventually there will be bone resorption so what happens after bone resorption there will be losing of denture that is a loss of retention so the loss of retention during rest due to the tissue rebound so at rest there will be loss of retention due, due to the tissue rebound so that is the mucocompressive or definite pressure technique or theory which gives good retention and support with more tissue coverage but it gives more stress to the tissues and there will be resorption and retention loss so the second theory or uh, technique is a uh, mucostatic or minimal pressure theory which was described by Addison but uh, who attributed it to Henry L. Page so he applied basically the Pascal's law to the soft tissues okay Pascal's law so what is exactly Pascal's law? 
This law states that any pressure applied to a confined fluid is transmitted undiminished in all directions. Okay, so any pressure applied to a confined flow is transmitted undiminished in all directions. So it goes to the all direction without any change. So mucosa being more than 80% of water will react like a liquid in a closed vessel and which cannot be compressed. So that is why he is using the minimal pressure because in a closed space the mucosa act like a uh, liquid. So mostly it has 80% of liquid, the tissue is having 80% of water. So he says that it cannot be compressed and it should be recorded at minimal pressure. Okay. So before we were applying lots of pressure in muco compressive or definite pressure technique. So that theory was different concept but this theory is based on the Pascal's law. Okay. So he says that it should be recorded at minimal pressure. So the impression material should record without distortion. Every detail of the mucosa will be uh, taken and so the denture would fit uh, all minute elevations and also the depressions so when we taken at a minimal pressure all the minute details such as the depressions any elevations all will be getting so he said that it should be recorded at basing uh, using a uh, metal base uh, instead of acrylics so metal base metal base should be used not acrylic okay to get the minimal details so this theory has regarded the interfacial surface tension as the only important retentive mechanism interfacial surface tension he was highlighting this concept for the main cause of or main uh, reason for retention that is the interfacial surface tension. So he did not use the conventional flanges. Okay. So again uh, it was recommended in later time a short lingual flange to resist uh, lateral displacement to be used. So he was highlighting mainly on this interfacial surface tension. So the advantages uh, are uh, the tissue health and preservation because uh, there is very minimal pressure. So there is no chance of resorption. Okay. So the advantages are tissue health and good preservation and also good stability not retention good stability but the problem with this technique is one is which is less tissue coverage then uh, reduced retention that is what very important but it has no retention Lack of border molding reduces the effective border seal. There is no border seal because it is not believing in border molding or peripheral seal. Border molding is not there, so there is no peripheral seal. Then this lack of border seal uh, permits food lodgement. So there will be food lodgement because of the peripheral seal. It will be a big problem then it compromised aesthetics due to the short danger flanges no aesthetics then tissue variations at the time of impression making and insertion may affect the results so this is all about mucostatic or minimal pressure theory it is based on the pascal's theory in a closed space tissue behaves like a fluid so advantages are tissue health and good preservation of structures with good stability but there are lots of disadvantages less tissue coverage less retention there is no border molding so there is no peripheral seal 
so there will be food lodgement and compromised aesthetics the next theory is selective pressure theory which was given by voucher so this is uh, managing the disadvantages of the first th- two theory that is mucocompressive and mucostatic theory here the principle is the mucosa over the ridge is best able to withstand the pressure and mucosa covering the midline is thin and has little submucosa tissue so the forces acting on the danger confined to the stress bearing areas so forces are mainly on stress bearing areas and non stress bearing areas are relieved okay that is a main concept the non stress bearing areas are relieved so we learned in the maxillary and mandibular dentures which are the stress bearing area and which are the non stress bearing area relieving area so all those things we learned so the pressure is applied on the stress bearing areas and the non stress bearing areas are relieved that is what is known as the selective pressure theory so non stress bearing areas are relieved and the stress bearing areas are allowed to come in contact with the tray so we relieve this area so this is a bauchers uh, uh, selective pressure theory mm, the main disadvantage is it demands a firm healthy mucosa covering over the ridge so it cannot be used in flabby ridges that is the main problem it cannot be used in flabby ridges it needs to have a good healthy very firm ridge to do this selective pressure theory so these are the main three theories of uh, impression making mucostatic mucocompressive and selective pressure theory so that was all about theories of impression making so any theory can be asked as a short note or a short essay as all together so we learn mucocompressive or definitive pressure theory mucostatic or minimal pressure theory and selective pressure theory so i'll come up with a new topic in prosthodontics thank you